PCHD Garden City. Available on the iHeartRadio app. This show is sponsored by DJ's International Buffet, located at 1100 Stewart Avenue in Garden City, right next to Nassau Community College. For more information, please call 516-227-2472 or visit djsbuffet.com. You're tuned into Long Island's only FM Sports Voice. This is Sports Talk on 90.3 WHBC. All right, we're back on 90.3 WHBC, WHBC HG and nccradio.org. You're listening to Sports Talk, which is 100% commercial free, every Thursday evening from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Chris Maldi and Cameron Gora, Kristen Hamilton, Nick Ornberger, Mark Tarkovsky, and George from Hicksville on the phone with us. And when last we left, the Yankee fans were decidedly on one side of favoring uh, getting lots of high-priced free agents, whereas <laughs> Tristan might say, you guys are crazy, and that's where we are. <laughs> <laughs> They're even having a discussion off mic too, as well. <laughs> but no, we just, I just, I just don't feel like the Yankees c- is going to pull in all of that. I can see Machado happening. Yeah, like, if I could be realistic, I could see that. But to say like Bryce, I would say like um, Clayton Kershaw. I can't. I think the season has to start. I think the season has to happen right? for Machado. That, that, yeah, that was funny between Judge and Machado. The whole. Tampering thing. And if you want to yeah. talk, if oh guys, yeah, yeah. And, and, and if you guys want to talk about money, the Jets still have thirty million dollars left off, and next year we are the number one in cap space. But I hate to bring that. How up. How about the new narrative with the Jets, though? <laughs> what they're saying, they're saying that. Uh, well, you know what? How much did the how much do the Jets like this pick if they were willing to spend that money on Kirk Cousins? And it's like it's not. They're it's, not a mutually exclusive it's thing. It's like thing, you try right? for one thing and you and don't get it, and you know you got me. this. Right, exactly. It's, 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 it's a weird kind of thing that they're doing. But ha- I just hope, I'm hoping this is Baker Mayfield. So I'm sorry. George, where did you watch the Mets game today? I'm hoping. Uh, at the office, thankfully. We, allowed, we were allowed to put it on for opening day. So very nice. Fun. Very, very nice. I didn't yes. wear my uh, my yellow uh, sweatshirt, you know, my, uh, my set's bit of thorn, but, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, there's a guy on the Cardinals who was wearing the yellow one. I saw well. that, yeah. Yeah, it was good to see. Yeah, uh, change the subject one second. Did anybody see Mike and the dog yesterday? I, ju- I referenced that, yeah. Did, yeah. I didn't get to see it yet. It anything anything dog, really great out of that? It, it was all right. It was, it was a laugh. Again, after a long winter, hear him talking baseball. Well, Francesa cannot, he has until this Sunday, April 1st, yeah. to legally announce his plans, which he probably says he won't have until May, though Russo was saying, uh, you know, like Frances is a little late here because he was at a place. We were both somewhere today, so they mm. guess they're going to do something together somewhere. Yeah, I always think it's nice MSG. Studio, the MLB studio. It's, it's got to be. It, yeah. They have to be it's doing it. Like it's a weekly program. Which will be right. great. I'll right. listen to it every time it's right. on. And they love the Dolan, so it'll probably be MSG. But <laughs> That's the Steinbrenner. <laughs> what? Not going to be the Steinbrenner. Oh, no. Well... <laughs> Well, they got kicked off, yes, right, for Michael K, well, right? My, they were, no, Francesca did, not right, the dog. Right, yeah, but I mean, dog wasn't there anymore. Well, but. yeah, dog left, and <laughs> yes, kicked Mike off. Yeah. A-Rod got kicked off, too. No, A-Rod is, is, is love and life. He just bought a $15 million apartment on Park Avenue. Does anybody the game tonight in L.A.? Li- Oh, did you see that? Oh, J Lo walked in t- during the broadcast. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Which he is came just I missed that. It was really funny. Wow. It's funny. I remember when she used to go to Mets games with her Met husband, Mark Anthony. I guess they. I guess now she's a big Yankee fan. Yeah, she's from the Bronx. Go to she she loved uh, Ben Affleck. You know exactly. Yeah. She did. Yeah. yeah. Deep yeah. down yeah. inside her heart, she was always a Yankee Jenny fan. But, she was always uh, Jenny from the Block. You know. That's yeah, yeah. Here's the here's the thing. Does anybody have a more charmed life than Alex Rodriguez? Probably not. No. Everything that's happened. Jeter, because yeah. that, that, that was, was funny. He today, thought he was Mr. Yankee, Mr. Shortstop, Mr. Everything. He didn't realize he's older than A Rod. You get old. That's what happens. And that's yeah. what that's what happens. And then know? he's in uh, Miami, and even Yankee fans it's, are like, "What is this guy doing?" A Rod is, you know, A Rod is a well, guy who we're kind of thankful for him. Honestly, A Rod took steroids. I'm very thankful. The for man took steroids, yeah. but he's he works from for for Fox. He works from MLB. Right. He work, This guy took steroids, <laughs> and it's like was caught. But then was again. Suspended. For a whole year, but don't, but do you, but do you hate Andy Pettit? Well, that's so. Yes. Yeah, I do hate Andy Pettit. So, uh, oh come on! Well, I, I hate him. Have you feel- ever met another gamer like Andy Pettit? Come on! Is He's that, got like a five ERA. It's, like uh, <laughs> for, it's a four two three for the record. Is, is a gamer another word for another name for compiler? Yeah. Well, oh, stop, uh, it. Uh, stop uh, it! Stop uh, it! Uh, stop uh, it! Is, is, Absolutely, is a stop gamer it. another word for a guy who says he loves God but really looks. 
totally lived a totally different life on the road. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. This guy, you saw that game six uh, against the Phillies, right? I mean, come on. Oh, I, right? I, I, <laughs> oh, I saw it already. Right. <laughs> is the game of the guy who leaves because he wants to go closer, goes back to Houston, then comes yeah. right back? Is that, so yeah. what? The Yankees should have paid him. And, and, right. and play with his best friend, too. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, uh, who, who shared needles? I, 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 Ooh, I, tough crowd, tough crowd. Hey, listen, yeah, I don't hey, know We didn't come to bury any kind of hey, listen. Bury a rod. Hey, listen, I, I, I don't hey, care. Right. But Andy's getting the collateral damage because at least Andy owned up to it. And yes, what, that's my point. But what was Andy's? But what was you know they have that phrase humble brag because of social media. <laughs> what was Andy's excuse? His excuse was that I he was trying to get, to get back get in the game faster. Trying to get back in the game. I was trying to get back. I was faster. trying to help myself get healthy. It wasn't to give myself an edge. So why'd you give it to your dad too? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And, and why did they allow um, that one guy to inject it in Roger and Roger Clemens? Roger Clemens Clemens didn't take it, but he allowed his trainer to inject it in Roger Clemens' wife's behind. <laughs> it's like, okay. oh, listen, there's a lot of dubious he material his, here. Roger Clemens threw his wife under the bus. Listen, so that, I'm, know, not, I'm not. I'm oh. not. Look, I'm. Listen, you're talking to a guy who's not against allowing the steroid guys into the into well, the whole thing. thing. Yeah, well, it's, I don't care at this point. It's too tainted now for it to matter to me. I love that they said, like you were talking about last year, that last year was 51, uh, 6,100 home runs were hit in Major League Baseball. The most ever during the steroid era was fifty seven hundred. So, so why is nobody questioning? You know, why are they calling that the steroid era? It's yeah. like, uh, how about this Something one? Is going you know what it is? Though, test I'll for tell blood. You Until they test for blood, then you know. I'll tell you why. There's more guy. It's just more guys hitting thirty run home up, run yeah. season and right. less guys hitting forty and fifty. Yeah. Home Correct. Runs. Yeah. yeah, and that's what it is. And it's what's going to happen now is the pitchers that are now nineteen to twenty three are going to learn to pitch a different way. Right. But up and in. You know, just going to bust them up and in, and that's. That's how you do it. It's like in football, you make adjustments. It always based on happens like that, though, because yeah. before the uh, the late nineties and and the early two thousands, pitchers always were like east and west. They wanted guys to going side to side, side to side. Once the the late two uh, the the late nineteen um, nineteen nineties, early two thousand, when these guys were crushing these things, they started going north and south because they realized, okay, this is how we get these guys out getting dip in, getting the dip was, down or swing too high. I was watching the NFL Network. The other it day, always happens, and they do that like show that. That a football. Life you ever see on NFL Network a football life? They'll like they'll they'll do an hour or two on one player's life and it's you know famous guy and they were doing John Stallworth who was the big <laughs> wide receiver for the Steelers in the seventies and eighties with Lynn Swan. And they were talking about how long it took Lynn Swan and John Stallworth to get into the Hall of Fame. The reason why is because in their best years, they only had 30... They were, they were total heroes in the Super Bowl, but in their best years, they only had like 30 or 40 catches because it was a different game. So it's like, well, now you're going up against other guys. you got 30 or 40 catches as a wide receiver. You're going against guys who have 90, 110 catches. So it was they took forever for It's them like a kid now asking, why the heck is Joe Namath in the Hall of Fame? Like honestly, like I'm looking at his stats; they don't yeah. look prolific. More interceptions and touchdowns. Exactly. Yeah. Listen, we're not going to get into that. Consi- <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Yeah. But, but, but he brought you, the AFL into the that's exactly. what he meant to the, gl- exactly. meant to the yeah. game. Exactly. That's right. And yeah. he was a New Yorker. Oh, and the Dodgers just lost one to one zero. nothing. One, one nothing. nothing. That's wow. the Giants. Bro, All right, Kershaw wow. the Yankees. Here we go. <laughs> 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 it starts. 161 games to go. That's it. All right, I'll free up the phone line, guys. All right, thanks, George. All right. All right, there goes George from Hicksville. Mets fan extraordinaire, 516-572-7440. 516-572-7440. I understand, because I heard you guys mention it, that Doug from the post office called last week? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he that did. is awesome. You know, he's been calling since even before I was on the show. That's so he's he been calling. Yeah, he's been calling forever. And, in fact, a different life, because now, uh, now Doug has a house, two kids, things he never had before. So it's like, you know, wow, he was always the, he was always the bachelor. But uh, 516-572-7440, 516-572-7440. That's the number call. I would love to hear what's on your mind. WHBC's Sports Talk right here, 90.3, every Thursday evening, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. How do you guys, all right, I want to ask you guys, uh, Giants fans, how do you guys really feel about this Odell situation and how it's going to end up turning Ooh. out? End up I don't turning think out. anything is going to happen, now. Honestly. Well, if, if the Rams are, the Rams, you were talking about the Jets being under the cap, the Rams are under the cap for a lot of money, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They want him. Like second third, they get Los third. Angeles. They get that they traded up to get the number one overall pick. Mm-hmm. They get that they got a 30-year-old head coach. They get what you need to do in Los Angeles. So they're going to have a lot of egos so, on that So team. to get Odell Beckham Jr., but 
the story that's out there is that the Giants want two number one, two number ones before they two even talk. So picks. this yeah. is all baloney. That is baloney. This yeah. is exactly yeah. what they. First of all, it's what the Giants should do when you're when you're yeah. saying something like that. Number one, it's it all it, all like, it is. Teach Odell. A, it's a public yeah. thing. Yeah. B, that's what it's it saying. It, it's a it's, per, it's a first offer. It's saying yeah, yeah first uh, two for you don't yeah. you don't ask if you're negotiating a contract with someone you don't ask for what you want right. you ask for something ridiculous yeah. Yeah. and they give you. Something ridiculously low, so you, and you and you negotiate. The other thing that it does is it goes to if Odell gives them crap about it, he can go. What's this all about? And they go, Odell, no one's giving us two first rounders for you. Calm down, everything's fine. The the and, and Maris, the hear Maris response. We're not trading him, but we'll answer the phone when it rings. Yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm really confused. Don't you about want to punch it? somebody in the nose when you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a great <laughs> idea to trade him. Uh, listen, here's the thing. Well, here's I want him, do you know what, I want him to retire a giant. Do, but oh, nobody. But, He's untouchable. But exactly. <laughs> but do you do you know what they're on the hook for money wise for him this year? Uh, I think it's isn't it like uh, eleven eleven five nine million. Just oh, it's nine. nine? It's nine. Nine million. I mean, then. But he can hold out. There's guys in the NFL who are getting a lot more than that that aren't as good as Odell Beckham. Way, so, way worse. So than Odell I, I, I love also love what the Jets did with the uh, and Domigan Sue. I love and they pulled it off. <laughs> they pulled, I love what they did. Whoops, <laughs> Yeah, they gave him a Tom. And he's he going was, with the Rams. Now. He went to the Rams too. Him and Aaron Donald are going to be. I'll tell you what. <laughs> then you got monsters. Akeem Tlaib and Marcus. Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's what I just said. A lot of egos on that team. That's a 30 year old head coach though. That's he doesn't well, care. He's he's a 30. But maybe he's the kind of coach that can reach him. Right. That's what it is. Like maybe he could be like a young. Pete Carroll, mm-hmm. and then like you know, that's exactly what is he? He's a he's a thirty year old guy. Was who's, Pete uh, Carroll ever young? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he was. Even at so USC, Pete Carroll never aged. Pete Carroll looked <laughs> like he was old. thirty. No, he looked like he was thirty five when he was sixty. Now he's looked very he old, looks super yeah. old. But when he was now. in USC, when he was yeah. the Jets, he was dark hair. He was in San Diego. Yeah. He was he was he, he didn't age. He was always a Southern California Crazy. surfer dude. Like you know who's finally starting to look old now? Um, Pharrell. Finally, I don't know if you guys seen him recently. The, the oh, the rapper? singer. Oh, okay. yeah. Singer for all, yeah. yeah. Well, he's finally he's, starting to look old now. He, is he not happy he, anymore? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't see him age the first time because you know what happened? He was around in like early 2000s, then he went to producing for like a few years, and then he came back around 2011. And like and he, he made it when he was 40, like he made it late in life. Yeah, he wasn't, yeah. yeah. No, no, he, 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 oh, was, Pharrell? Pharrell was, was good about 15 years ago. He had some songs, right? Well, but, he was like he, a producer for Jay Z, right, wasn't right, he? Like right, Jay Z, he, had, Snoop Dogg and he had some songs that he actually was say, like. No, no, that's what's the word? He actually put out like his own, his song, own stuff, his yeah. own stuff about fifteen years ago. Then he, like I said, then he was made. Then people he went know to who, produce. But then he went to produce. And then the, the Adidas deal became big, right? And then he became really big with Happy and all that other stuff. Yeah. That's when he took the next right. level up. And, yeah. but people always knew who he was. He was went from, I guess, a, a C or B list to like an A list. Well, it's like how do you how well, well, no, go, how do you quantify Usher? Where do you put him? Usher's A-list. Is he A-list? He's A-list. I mean, when you have that many hits, Usher was was huge, huge, huge in the in the early uh, yeah, and uh, mid. But yet he was marrying like fifty year old women. It was like ah, okay. whatever. Yeah, he was doing, yeah, he was doing his little. Teach their own. Yeah. I think it was. And I he was getting sued, right? Wasn't he getting sued by the one with the. I mean, how many times I think has it was he been Michael sued? Jackson, like, Jackson, right? And then I'm just talking about like singing wise and performance performance wise. I think it was um, Michael Jackson. Then I think it went to like Usher for a little bit, and then I think it's Chris Brown now. Performance wise, well, I think uh, Bruno Mars is the guy. Bruno Mars. Yeah. 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 Finesse, come but, on! But when you I say but, 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 hey, you're li- he's not the only person singing finesse, by the way. <laughs> you're forgetting her, yeah, yeah Cardi B. Yeah, oh, well, that, that's the remix. And she's got, you know she's got money. You know. <laughs> yeah, in, in the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch her at it. Don't dance no more. I right? think she'd be at Rick's tonight. <laughs> Rick's, you know Rick's. Yeah. For the I'm record, I'm, I'm a, I've heard of it. I'm a big <laughs> Cardi B fan. You heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> I was at. Uh, I was. We have under underwater speakers. That we paid for it at swimming, so we always have. I always make a mix with all kinds of music. Oh, and a girl it. comes up to me and she's like, "Can you play? Car- can you play on um, Bodak Yellow?" And actually, she has one coach. And he's like, "I don't know what that song is." I'm like, when she comes to me. I'm like. You know, we're a C- CYO team. <laughs> That's a Catholic Youth Organization. I'm like, I don't, just play the clean version. I'm like, mm, she's still got money moves, you know? <laughs> but then, but the problem is, then you got Ed Sheeran's I'm in love with your body. You yeah. know, it's like, mm, okay. I don't know what it is. Even if the song has no curses, it still has to be Correct. Yeah, not sexual. A, exactly. It's like, mm. Nonsense. 
What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I put on the little Einstein's theme, you know, and uh, wait, 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 they're, they're going on a rocket your, ship. Your church is oh, wow. Cool. That's a drastic like, change. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I put a, oh. I only, my, my son wants me to put on only meme stuff. So, <laughs> I, have, memes. so I have All Star by Smash Mouth. <laughs> and, and I now, yeah, and, <laughs> and I have, uh, what else do I have? Uh, it's, it's like uh, li- uh, um, Evanescence, you know. Bring Let's me to life. T- yeah, bring me to life. Because all the meme songs I have, you know, even Enya, you know, like who? <laughs> Uh, just, uh, I don't play that song you know for a second. You know who you got to play now? Schoolhouse of Rock. I'm just a bill because oh, everyone's cool. trying to change laws now. Oh my God! <laughs> Conjunction, <laughs> junction. What's your oh, fun? God, the memories. The memories. They, they have at, at the.